Hey everybody, John Abbey Good here. Good afternoon. No, no, no. Good morning. It's still 11.17. Greetings from uh, Royal Front, Virginia. We are empty and we're headed for Moorfield, West Virginia. Today, once again, it is Friday, January 20th, 2017. Moorfield, West Virginia is 90 miles from here. Okay, so here are the uh, the plan. We're going to go pick up our load in Moorfield. And then, as soon as we pick that up, we're going to head towards uh, Hagerstown, Maryland at the pilot. Meet up with the boss. Exchange paperwork and get my new EFTA stickers. I also need my new, uh, I need a new fuel card because this one is, this, this one's already cracked. Uh, we're not going to Shano this week. We are going to La Crosse, Wisconsin for Sunday delivery and then we're going to deliver to Jackson Wisconsin which is kind of nor between kind of between Milwaukee and Sheboygan but on the west side a little bit that delivers Monday I believe it's delivering to Cisco. And if holy smokies. And if I remember correctly, it delivers something around like five AM I think it is. And then from there we're gonna dead dead to a little shoot Wisconsin pick up a load of pizza frozen pizza and that delivers to Whiskey Bottom Road in Laurel Maryland Eddie's ice cream and that's all I got for now So I guess uh, I guess I won't be home tomorrow because Sheboygan is a bit out of a route to uh, Lacrosse. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask the boss after delivering. Across Wisconsin to allow me to spend the night at the house. That way I could deliver the paycheck to the wife and uh, pick up some fresh clothes, drop off some laundry. imagine by 3.30 or 4 o'clock, wake up, then deliver to Jackson. Jackson is only like an hour and a half from the house. Not even that. So I guess, well, at least I could spend the night at the house, right? Not a whole lot of time, but better than nothing.
trailer washout. This one's getting kind of a little dirty. And I think there was a bag of salt that kind of popped open so there are some salt on the on the floor. You guys ever do something? Uh, let me let me tell you what happened. When I arrived at the uh, customer back there, I met up with the guy. He was pushing the cart. I asked him who should I check in with, and he says, "Well, that would be me." And I I asked him where to back in. And he says, yeah, right there. And so I asked him to move the pickup because I, I knew I couldn't make it without that pickup being moved. And so uh, while he was moving the pickup, I put the paperwork on his cart, a cart full of boxes. And I even put a box on top of another box so that way that they won't blow away. As soon as I did that, there's something in me that tells me don't do this, don't do it. But I went ahead and went ahead and did it anyway. And lo and behold After I got unloaded, they asked me where the bill of lading was. I said, I put it on the cart, the one that you had. So I didn't see it. So we had to go and do a private eye. We had to go search, look where all possibly could be. Thankfully, we found it, but not after a mouthful or an earful that I got. <laughs> but the point is, if you guys ever do that, uh, do something, even though something in you tells you that don't do it, don't do it. Now, I never really... I've never really explored or yeah I've never really explored or understood the real meaning of instinct so was that my instinct telling me not to do it and I didn't listen to my instinct or was that <laughs> It's not the first time that I did that anyway, so is that something that I've developed an instinct because of uh, experience or 
So what is the very core meaning or origin of instinct? That's basically what I'm trying to understand. What is the difference between uh, instinct and experience? So if you guys have any experience about instinct or what you think instinct is, let me know. I would I would love to explore that idea. And I you know honestly I do that a lot. I many times something tells me I shouldn't do that and I don't if that is instinct I don't usually I don't listen to my instinct. And it always it always somehow gets me in trouble. Alright, we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Let me know. Peace.